Welcome to another installment of our 3D Mechanical Design Series. In this SOLIDWORKS tutorial for beginners, we will guide you through the process of modeling the transition from a round shape to a rectangular round shape. This exercise is an excellent practice in using sheet metal tools. Overview of the project. In this tutorial, we will create a model that transitions from a circular shape to a rectangular round shape. The specifications for this project are as follows. Circle diameter, 30 inches. Rectangular round diameter, 30 inches. Distance between centers, 60 inches. Length of transition, 50 inches. Step-by-step -step guide. Step 1. Drawing the initial circle. Begin by selecting the front plane in SOLIDWORKS. Draw a circle with a diameter of 30 inches. Cut the circle in half horizontally and keep one half. Exit the sketch mode. Step 2. Creating a new plane. Create a new plane positioned 50 inches away from the front plane. This will serve as the base for our next sketch. Step 3. Sketching the rectangular round shape. On the newly created plane, use the center point straight slot tool. Draw half of the rectangular round shape, ensuring it has a diameter of 30 inches and is positioned 60 inches from center to center. Cut this shape in half horizontally and keep one half. Step 4. Using the sheet metal lofted bend tool. With both sketches prepared, navigate to the sheet metal tools and select the lofted bend tool. In the lofted bend management settings, choose form as the manufacturing method and set the thickness to 0.25 inches. Click OK to create half of the transition segment. Step 5. Completing the transition with Mirror Tool. Utilize the Mirror Tool to replicate and add the second half of the transition segment. This completes your weldment of the transition from a round shape to a rectangular round shape. Congratulations! You have successfully modeled a transition from a round shape to a rectangular round shape using SOLIDWORKS. This exercise not only enhances your understanding of basic sketching and modeling techniques, but also introduces you to advanced tools like lofted bend and mirror. Thank you for following along with this tutorial. If you found it helpful, Please consider subscribing to our channel for more SOLIDWORKS tutorials and mechanical design tips.